New at 5.30, a disposal dilemma as local cities and towns find themselves at a cross. A story about how main towns are really struggling to continue offering recycling programs. Focuses on issues that matter most to Mainers for many, that is the environment. Well, it turns out more and more of what we try to recycle is ending up in the garbage anyway. You've probably seen it in the news already. The issue is increasing costs of recycling to communities here in Maine and across the country. Here in Topsum, we currently use the zero sort way of recycling, which means paper, cans, plastic, and glass are thrown together and shipped to places like China to be separated elsewhere. It goes through a series of conveyors and electronic eyes that separate the items and send them to ballers. Then they are shipped to places that will return them into new products. Until 2018, China was purchasing our recyclable materials without much regard for how clean the materials were, or if they contained material that could not be recycled. But new restrictions in China have drastically decreased the types of materials they will take in, and lowered the amount they will pay for them. They have also dramatically lowered the amount of the contaminated material that is left in the materials they recycle for us. The fact is, most of what we recycle is contaminated because it's often unclean or contains material that are not recyclable. As a result, costs for sorting have skyrocketed. While the money we receive for the materials is lowered, the result is the increasing number of communities forced to discontinue their recycling programs, altogether because it's actually cheaper to throw items away to be incinerated. While miners recycle at a higher rate than any other state in the country, we need to do a better job in order to keep recycling as a viable alternative to incinerating materials that could be used again or turned into new products. With that in mind, we will look at how to avoid wish cycling, what can be recycled, and the condition it should be in. Sometimes we have the best of intentions and place items in recycling bins in hope that someone will know what to do with it and that it will get recycled. Other times we place materials that we know can be recycled, don't make sure that it is empty or clean. We think that the recycling process will clean whatever we leave behind. This is called wish cycling. Most of us have done this. Prior to China's change in policy, those items probably were removed or sorted out, and then incinerated with regular trash. Now though, they are considered contaminated and are going to cost more to take care of than if you're just to throw it away with your regular trash. How can we recycle better? First, we need keeping our materials as clean as possible. You can do this by making sure that anything you place in the recycling bin is empty clean and dry. So, let's take a look now at the do's and don'ts of zero sort recycling. With all these items, make sure they are empty, clean, and dry. The town of Topson will be charged additional fees for contaminated loads of recycling. So please, if you're going to recycle, do it right. Please make sure that you only place the following proof items in your recycling bin. Corrugated cardboard. This is the type of cardboard that has the wavy layer in the center. Box board. This includes dry food boxes, paper bags, egg cartons, and paper towel rolls. Junk mail, magazines, catalogs, envelopes, and office paper can all be recycled. Plastic bottles, jugs, tubs, and lids, basically any empty kitchen, bathroom, or laundry container. Metal items include aluminum and steel cans, clean foil, and clean food and beverage cans. Glass bottles and jars include empty food and beverage bottles and jars. It has already been stated, but it bears repeating. Please make sure that all items you place in your zero sort bin are empty, clean, and dry. This may be a little extra work, but it will truly make a world of difference. Now let's take a look at some of the don'ts of recycling. Plastic bags don't belong because they wrap around the sorting equipment. Instead, recycle your bags at participating grocery or retail stores. Don't bag up your recyclables. They look too much like trash at the recycling plant. Instead, keep it loose by tossing it into your bin. Clothing and textiles don't belong because they would also wrap around the sorting equipment. Instead, you should donate them through a local clothing drive, drop box, or reuse store. Food waste and liquids contaminate other items. 
Usually, you would place them in your trash, but you could consider composting or looking into a local food waste programs. Tanglers definitely don't belong in the recycling. Items like cords, ropes, hoses, and other tanglers can wrap around the sorting equipment. Place those items in your trash. Scrap metal items don't belong. They can damage the sorting equipment. Look up your local scrap metal recycler that accepts those items. Otherwise, place them in the trash. Batteries of any kind don't belong in recycling because they can cause fires and danger workers. You can find your best disposal option at earth911.com. Electronic waste, or e-waste, items do not belong in your recycling because they often will break during sorting and are unsafe. Instead, you should look up your local electronic waste recycler or retail take-back programs. Please, do your part and take the time to educate yourself about what is and isn't acceptable. Resources can be found at casella.com. Simply scroll down the page to find out more about zero sort recycling. To get more information about our solid waste facility, go to chopsonmain.com. Click the government menu, hover over departments, and then click on solid waste facility. Thank you for watching.